So one year hence or twelve months. If you will give me for every month twenty minutes. So twenty multiplied by twelve. Yeah, she has said that we do agree until Fajr or at least until Tahajjud time. Inshallah, I will try to my best because I have in my mind a few points I want to clear it. And I want to make it clear. My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, first of all, I would go back to our Iman and our responsibility as a moment. Because when you said La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, that is not only a notion you mentioned, that is a pledge of allegiance you have given to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As in our Jamaah we said, yes, Walaylah sallallahu rahmatullahi alayhi wa sallam, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, consists of two sentences, la ilaha illallah, maqsad is in the year, the aim and purpose of life, and Muhammad Rasulullah, tells us in the year and the way of life. Everybody is living in this world, but most of them, they do not know what is the purpose of life. Just eat and drink and enjoy and go back. Kao piyo rmaze ulao. This is not the purpose of life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Afasibatum anna ma khalaknakum habasa wa annakum ilayna la turjahun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Have you thought? Afasibatum. Not do you think. Have you thought? Afasibatum. Fairly madhi. Afahasibatum annama khalaknakum abasa Have you thought that we have created you abas? What is abas? Use this. No purpose, no end, no object, no maxim. Now look at the whole world. Every single atom there in the world that is not useless. Everything is functioning and it is fulfilling its obligation and its duty. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, look at me. Yes, with due attention, please. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inla harafna al-amana ta'ala samawati wal-arzi wal-jibar Fa'bena ayyak milna haa wa ashfaqna milha Inla harafna al-amana ta'ala We offered and presented the amana. What is amana? You, you know, every common layman, he knows the meaning of amana, trust. Amana, you have to keep and to preserve. Amana, duty, as Allah says. Inna Allah ya'murukum an tuaddul amana de la aliha. What you are duty bound for, you have to fulfill your obligation and to perform your duty. Otherwise, you would be considered in the court of Allah as a cheater. As a khayin, and you know what is the punishment for a khayin. So Allah says, Inna marafna al-amana ta'ala samawati wal-arzi wal-jibal We offered our present. So offering is not good. Offer sometimes you accept and sometimes you do not. Here there is no such like option. So that's why I translated in a different word that we present it. We say present it. إِلَّا مَرَزْنَا الْأَمَانَ تَعَلَى السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ So now when Allah of the Arz mentioned the word Amana, it means a wujud and luzu. إِلَّا مَرَزْنَا الْأَمَانَ تَعَلَى We presented the Amana and made the people or made the creature bound. That word Amana means. إِلَّا غَرَضْنَا الْأَمَانَ تَعْلَى السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْزِ وَالْجِبَالِ Now Allah mentioned three types of His creature. Because these are the bigger ever thing one can mention in the creature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, the heavens. Number two, the earth. Number three, the mountains. After that, there are a lot. But these are the three biggest ever creature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Be present now keeping in view what I have translated so you will come to know the technical meaning of the ayah they be presented the duties we presented the responsibilities we presented the duties the responsibilities and the masculia to the heavens to the earth and to the mountains we put it there in that you be, you are bound to fulfill your obligation and to perform your duty the heavens are doing their own duties the earth is doing its own duty the mountains are doing their own duty I do not agree with the Mufassirin, those who said that this Amana means al ahkam al shariya Al-Taklid bil shariya Why? Why? They thought it does not make sense? The base of the Taklid bil shariya is Aqal and Except the humans, no any other creature has that type of power. So, respected brothers and sisters in Islam, we presented the concerned duties, the relevant duties to the heavens, to the earth, and to the mountains. If you will go for literal meaning of the wording for abena ayyah minnaha, they refused to take it. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajaun. Otherwise, there is a very clear contradiction with the ayah of Surah Hamim as Sajda. Fakala laha walil arze dea tawan wa karhan. Kala ta laudi. Kalata ate na taihi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We created the heavens and the earth and we ordered them to perform the duty. You will or you do not? You will or you do not? Kalata ate na taihi. They said, We will perform our duty willingly. So there is no any concept and room of refusal and rejection. So now, how we will translate the word for Abayna Ayyah Minna are two thanks to a great Nahri, Imam Zajjaj. Great Nahri, Imam Zajjaj. For Abayna Ayyah Minna, he says that the word Hamal in Arabic language is been Tabili of Ali Raza. Hamala in its very meaning. Hamala in the meaning of its opposite. For Abayna Ayyah Trukna, or Yakuna. Fabena ayya truknaha aw yakhunaha. Fabena ayya truknaha aw yakhunaha. They rejected the khayana. They refused the tarak and disobedience. They refused the disobedience. So, negative multiplied by negative. Manfi zarbi manfi. That is positive. They said, yes, he will do it. Fabena ayya khmilna wa ashfakna milha min al khayana. And they became afraid of Khiyana and not doing their duty. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that insan and human they are cheating, they are disobeying, they are not performing their duty even though they have accepted that as well. How we can say they accepted it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa iza khazarabbuka min bani adam min zuhurim zuriyatahum wa ashadahum ala anfusim Allah subhanahu I will be giving you an example from the modern technology so that it will be easy to understand Imam Waliullah Rahmatullahi Alayhi says that you have to make the mansus ma'afool and the ma'afool ma'afool to make it understandable very easily to make the mansus ma'afool and the ma'afool Mahsus, just give a visible example so the common layman may understand very easily. So, respected brother, look at me. There is one man computer. You will click, lot of things will come out. The page, you will click, 
other lot of things will come out then you will click another point other lot of things same was happening to adam allah clicked the adam or adam's roof so lot of roof came out of adam then he clicked on these roof they were spreading and spreading and spreading the subhanallah a big bunch of our came out now you understand what i'm saying yes or not You do not understand what I am saying. Yes. So Allah says, Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed all these souls and spirits and all these arwah. Alastu bi rabbikum. So this was not the case that Allah said only this word, Alastu bi rabbikum. He made it clear to them that I have developed a very beautiful world for you. There are things you can exploit, you can utilize, you can enjoy, you can entertain. But there is no free lunch in America. Is there any? Say, no. there is no. Here, yes, this is not uh, the oriental world or the oriental part of the world. There, people are doing cooperation to each other. Helping each other. Here the thing is other way around. If you are there in gas station and somebody he owes to the gas station one single penny and you will pay what? He will ask you three times. Are you sure? <laughs> because this is not the culture. Are you sure? You know what I'm saying? Why is the Khazara Pokemon Bani Adam in Zuhurim Zuriatam? Why? Because there is no free lunch here. There is no free land. Now you will be exploiting the whole word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for free. Doesn't make sense. For free? Doesn't make sense. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He addressed the soul and the spirits. Allah subhanahu am I not your Lord? And what is Lord? I was referring the night before last night in the philosophy of Imam Waliullah Ramadullahi Ali. That Imam Waliullah says, Shirk didn't start in Uluhiyya. It started in Rububiyya. Shirk started in Rububiyya. People started Shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not in the attribute of Uluhiyya. First, in the attribute of Rububiyya. Because just to study the human history, nobody has ever said that this part of the world has been created by our God or gods. They do worship it. But nobody claimed he was even the Hindus. They never claimed that this Buddha of ours, he has created Atlanta. Or he has created a single tree or a single plant. The Mushrikeen never said that Allah has created Makkah or a part of Makkah. Or even one single entity or single atom. <coughs> because the shirk started in Rububiyya. Why? Because they got confused in the qualities and attributes of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah has certain contributes which reflects different creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one way or the other, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's quality is penetrating in his creature. We have to please that creature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will become happy with us. Manabudhum illa riyukarribuna. Illallahi zulfa. So my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, they started the shirk in Rububiyya and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is all aware of mazi, hal and istibbal, past, present and future. So he addressed us and he asked us, will you believe in my lordship or in me as Rabb or in someone else? Because he was aware of that actually the shirk will start in Rububiyya, not in anything else. So my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا خَزَرَتْكُ كَمِمْ بَنِي آدَمَ مِنْ زُهُورِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ وَأَشْهَدَهُمْ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ أَلَسْتُ بِرَبِّكُمْ Am I not your Lord Tadu Bala? Yes. Now come down. Alastu bi rabbikum qalu bala Am I not your Lord? So all of us we said yes you are our Lord I said you are my Lord You said you are my Lord Pharaoh said you are my Lord Numrud said you are my Lord Abu Jahl said you are my Lord Imam Sayyidi Rahmatullah he has written a famous book by the name of Al-Qasai Surah Quran in two volumes 
In the very second page, he has narrated a hadith. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that all prophets and messengers came to this world to remind the human that you have admitted that you are slave and Allah is the Rabb. Now you have to find out what are the requirements of this promise you have given or word or pledge of allegiance you have given to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you have believed in Allah as your Rabb and we do renew that promise of our, of that covenant of other with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala time and again as Muslim several times in our prayer. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Abdul Dev Say loudly Iyaka Na'bud So what is Ayn Ba'dan? Abud, Ibadah, Abid, Ibad All are the derives of this one single word Abud is coming out of death Abid is coming out of death Abid is one who would say Abad is the slave. When we say Iya Ganabudu, so we say we do worship you. And number two, we do admit that we are your slaves and you are our master. You are our master being Rabb. Rabbi. Master. Iya Ganabudu, Iya Ganasdaween. So all prophets and messengers reminded us that we saw Kazan Allah to be Rabbi Kum Kalu Bala. And now look at me. When you will know and recognize yourself as Rabb, and you will know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as your Rabb, that is the perfect humility you will become a human. And to tell you one thing else, keep in mind, look at me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the whole world and we as human. And then he sent the messengers and told them that I have created human, human by features. Human by Say, human by feature. Now your duty is to make them human by nature. Now look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us human by feature. Abu Jahl, he was human by feature. Pharaoh, he was human by feature. In Khitta Arab, nobody else was as handsome as Abu Jahl was. Nobody else was as powerful as Abu Jahl was. Nobody else was as rich as Abu Jahl was. And they are, these are the three basic qualities. But when he did not become human by nature, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a certificate. And what was that certificate? Ulaika kalamame balhum azal wa ulaika ul ghafilun. Allah says Abu Jahl like paper. They are wild beasts. They are worse than cattle. You get to know what I'm saying? Now, on the other hand, you can look at Bilal and Ammah, Raziyallahu ta'ala anhumah. Their complexion was black. Their lips were too big. Their hair were curly. They do not have any money. Even they were not owning their own self. They were the slaves. But, Ammar ibn Yasir radiallahu ta'ala anhu Whenever he was coming to Sayyidina Umar al-Farooq radiallahu ta'ala anhu The ruler, the khalifa of 2.2 million square miles Umar used to stand in front of him to give him respect And then he used to make him sitting on his own place If strangers were there, Umar said a few times Ana amirukum wa haza sayyidi Ana amirukum, I'm your amir. I'm your amir. Wahaza sayyidi. But Ammar is my master. Lakad uzi fi sabirillah. Ma uzi akhadun nisluhu kattu. He has been tortured in the cause of Allah. Nobody else has been tortured to such an extent. So that Ammar ibn Yasir, Raziyallahu ta'ala ghan. No white and red complexion. No money, no power, nothing left. But he was human in the eyes of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, all these messengers came to make us human. So respected brother and sister is now coming back to the point. So now this holy book came to guide us towards humanity. Whosoever will get connected to this holy book and the very bringer of this holy book, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he will be a human to the extent of his following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa The more he will follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the holy book, the more he is a human.
Otherwise, he will become just like Abu Jahal. Hasan se basra bela ala sahabash sohe badru. Hasan se basra bela ala sahabash sohe badru. Ze khak e makka Abu Jahal e jibul ajabis. This hikma and wisdom is known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, Abu Jahal, he was from the cousin tribe of the tribe of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Somebody asked him that Amr, why you did not accept Muhammad as messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So what he said, look at me. That nahnu wa bani abdi manafi ka farasi rihani fazahamna faqalu billa nabiyun falam nu'mina hatta no da mislama uti rasulullah abu jahl said, that we and Abdi Manafi were two competitive tribes. Cousin tribe, they were in competition to each other. They said that this year we earned that much. This year we brought those many caravans from Syria. This year we built up those many plazas and we were competing. But now things went other way around. They said that we have a messenger from our tribe, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he said that now we are the competitive tribe, we cannot believe in their messenger, we need our own, that's why I'm not going to believe in him. Lanomina hatta noda mislama uti ya Rasulullah sallallahu subhanahu wa ta'ala answer Allah wa ta'ala mu haysu yad'al bisalata. That who you are, you cannot distribute the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the last two days I was not feeling good but anyhow the order of Shaykh Abdul Ghafasa otherwise I was suffering from fever and that's why I'm fretting a lot because now when I was coming here I took two Tylenol 500 milligrams yeah so that's why I'm fretting but anyhow I'm not living alone for less than two hours you are sitting here. So respected brothers and sisters in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us with the holy book. No, they are doing it. With the holy book and with the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I was looking for their sweating how it will start. It started. So respected brothers and sisters in Islam. Allah sent Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That was point number one. Iman and Rububiyya. Our Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now the second point is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the last and final prophet. As the last one. See, as final prophet. Have you heard that Torah was the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God perverted? Yes. yes. Changed. Injil was the book of Allah God changed. Zabur was the book of Allah. Because it was subject to change. Why? Because that was not the last and final message. Yes, it has the acceptability. So that's why it got changed. Now when the last and final message came, there is no room for change. Because that is last and final. Basically and ultimately, it does not have the talent to get changed. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna al-lazina kafaru bizzikri lamma jahu Wa innahu la kitabun aziz La yaadi al-baadilu min bain yadihi Wa la min khalfihi Tanzeelun min al-hakeem al-habid Otherwise, Brother Ramazan and our Brother Shaykh They will say that Taurat was the book of Allah Injil was the book of Allah Quran is the book of Allah They got changed Quran is subject to change or not? If Quran is not subject to change because that is the book of Allah, why Torah and Injil and other book got changed and perverted? So the thing is that they were subject to change because that was not the last and final message. Allah Himself was going to change it. Allah Himself was. So that means that actually room for change was there. But here, when Allah sent the last and final message, there is no room for change. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala certified it and he gave us surety. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِالزِّكْرِ لَمَّا جَاهُمْ وَإِنَّهُ لَكِتَابٌ عَزِيزٌ لَا يَعْتِي الْبَاطِلُ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدِيهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِ What is Batil? Falsehood. What is Batil? Here in the ayah, the enemy to Quran. La yaatihi al-baatil min bini yadihi The baatil cannot take it from its front Wa la min khalfi not from its back And fight is taking place from two sides 
bravely from the front, bravely from, and covertly from the back. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, nobody come to bravely to complete Quran, not covertly to complete Quran or to fight it. La yadil fadil min bini yadehi wa min khalbi tanzilun min hakim al hamid Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa innahu la kitabun Yes, Aziz, what is Izza? What is Izza? What is Aziz? When we use the same word for Allah as a tribute, so we say Almighty. So Allah says this book is Almighty book. When that is Almighty book, no might can compete it, not can conquer it. So that's what Allah means. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have said, Wa inna kitabun majeed, Wa inna ula kitabun kareem, Wa inna ula kitabun shareem. But he said, Wa inna ula kitabun aziz. Because no might can come to it to counter it or to compete it. So that's a surety. Sometimes we say, oh, there are a lot of groups and they are trying to change the Holy Quran and to pervert it and to make a new one. Say, brother, what are you talking about? Let them try. Let them. This is not a new thing that is going on for the last 1500 years. It's going on for the last. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the surety that la yaatihil baadil min bani yadehi wa la min khalfi tanzeelu min ma. So why you are sure and check it? Nothing will happen to this book. So my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he consoled the Prophet. مَا يُقَارُ لَكَ إِلَّا مَا قَدْ قِيلَ لِلْرُسُلِ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ Consoling the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because they used to say about the Prophet and about the Holy Quran وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الْحَاظَى إِلَّا إِفْكٌ إِفْتَرَاهُ وَأَبَانَهُ وَلِيْقَوْمُ الْآخَرُونَ They said about the Holy Book that this is a fabrication that is fake being made by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam So now the objection was, he is not a literate man, even though he is educated, but he is not literate. There is a big difference between literacy and between education. Yes, when you will go back to your own area, especially to the village, especially to the village, we have Jalgas. The members of Jalgas, they cannot sign their own name even. But when they start talking about the issue, you will say, Aksum, or maybe Boston Taka. He graduated from state education. That's what, even though they are not different, but they are, say, Prophet was not different, but he was educated and cultured, and cultured in a sense that he was going to pass. Respected brother, so there I have mentioned that the messengers and prophets, they are suddenly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them the Nubuwa and the prophethood, and there was no any preparation. Are they were prepared for. So now the philosopher are the hukama, they are of the view. They turn up with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with someone and give him the message that you are my messenger. Yes, but that is not the proper interpretation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared them for 40 years to accept the message and to carry that and to convey that. And the real Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. وَاسْتَنَعْتُكَ لِنَفْسِ اِسْتَنَعَ يَسْتَنِعُ اِسْتِنَاعًا What about that is? بَابِ اِفْتِعَالِ What is? بَابِ اِفْتِعَالِ And what is سَنَعَ يَسْنَعُ Or سَنَعَتْ Manufacturing Manufacturing is not coming into existence like one, two, three. It takes time. It takes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I have made up you, O Musa, and Israel, and Israel, and Israel, and Israel. I have made of you. I have manufactured you for myself. وَاسْتَنَعْتُكَ لِنَفْسِ وَلِتُسْنَعْ عَلَىٰ عَيْنِي وَلِتُسْنَعْ عَلَىٰ عَيْنِي So you may God be wrapped under my eyes, under my negrani, under my surveillance. You know what I'm saying? وَاسْتَنَعْتُكَ لِنَفْسِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is building up a messenger for his message. And that's why he is giving the message mostly after 40 years. In a few cases, it is less than 40 years, but mostly the rule was exceptions are there. Exceptions 
of the earth. So Prophet ﷺ was built up for the same message for 40 years. And that's why he got the title of As-Sadiqul Ameen. Even people were not calling him or referring to him by the name Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They used to call him as, say, As-Sadiqul Ameen. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went for the first time. He came to convey the message. So the first ever thing he presented himself. I have spent much time amongst of you. My childhood is there. My boyhood is there. My youth and young age is there. And then, until 40 years, you have seen me in different forms. What's your experience? What's your observation? How did you find me? So they said, Ma wajad na fika illa we know about you only truth and minds, only truth and truth. So he said, okay, then listen to me. So my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, anyhow, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this final message to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about which Allah said kitab Anzalnao ilayka mubarakun liyaddabbaru ayati wa liyatazakkaru al-albab Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says kitab So here Allah is mentioning four azama or four greatnesses of Holy Quran That this is a great book, it has four greatnesses Number one, its own greatness Number two, the greatness of its munzil who sent it who sent it? Number three, the greatness of one who received it. Number four, the greatness of those who got connected. Got it? So Allah says, Kitabun. Abdul Ghabar Sahib said he is taught in, in Arabic language and expert in Arabic grammar. And uh, yesterday in my Friday, people, they are also little people, but not today, it's saying they are engineers by profession. So I was referring to them, he was mentioning a word, and I was giving them an explanation. I say, you know better. He said to Sheikh, sign of Qiyama, the Kenan Arab is teaching Arab the Arabic language. <laughs> so said in the case of Abdul Ghaffar, he is another sign of Qiyama. That is teaching you the proper Arabic language grammatically. So anyhow, Allah says, Kitab. It has a sign, it has a symbol. Yes, here in case of Rafa, the two dhammas. What? The two dhammas, we call it what? That is not the name, that's actually a sign of the name. That's only when you pronounce it. That's the name. Kita, yeah, this um, yeah, it changes. In different form, it changes. Um, in, um. Kitabun, so now this tanbeen in Balaha has its own use. So sometimes we say that tanbeen is for tanbeer and tanbeer is for qazi. So that's why we explain the word kitabun, kitabun azim. You say, the kitabun meaning? Now, one half is sad. He was reciting the ayat of Surah Shu'ala. Wa innahu la tanzeelu rabbil alami. Nazala bihir ruhul ameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that is tanzeel of Rabbul Alameen, Allah has sent it. Kitabun, this is a great book. So what is its greatness? How it is great book? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَمْ يَكُنِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ عَالِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُزْرِكِينَ مُنْفَكِّينَ حَتَّى تَعْدِيَهُمُ الْبَيِّنَا رَسُولٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ يَتْلُو صُحْفًا مُطَحَّرًا فِيهَا كُتُبٌ قَيِّمًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say there has come to you people a bayyina Now this bayyina, once again Shaykh Abdul Ghaffar said that bayyin, actually it was bayyina Yes, two years, then a dhram happened there and it became bayyin. So now bayyin ala zinati fa'eel. Seva what? Sifati mushabba. What? 
صفة مشبه لم يكن إلا ذيل كفروا من آل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين حتى تاديوا فالشيخ عبد الغفار is looking at me that this is not only صفة صفة مشبه the same زنا or وزنا to فعيل is sometimes for مبالغة as well الاتيو الدكتور what is it الاتيو الدكتور أرسيغة مبالغة so hatta ta diyo mulbayyina so here we have to take it as sifat al mubalagha naz el sifat al mushabba dika sifat al mushabba to a great extent is sifat al zati of the thing concerned but when you will take it to sifat al mubalagha so that will become sifat al mutaaddi so what it will mean then hatta ta diyo mulbayyina now bayyina is such a thing which is clear itself and clarifies Clear like this tube or this bulb, clear itself and make other things clear as well. So that is Bayyina. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bayyina came to you. Now what is Bayyina? Now Rasulun, Min Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that this Bayyina is this Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He himself is alive and he will enlighten the whole world. That's what he said. Himself he is alive and he will enlighten the whole world. رسول من الله يدلو صحفا مطهرا Now Shaykh will say that Rasul that is either bayan or badal that is either bayan or badal we will go to Kufiyin and Basriyin that this is badal or bayan but anyhow in one way or the other meaning is one and the same لم يكن الذين كفروا من آل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين حتى تات يوم البينة رسول من الله the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم from Allah's side what he does يدلو صحفا مطهرا he is reciting the holy scripture he is reciting and that holy scripture is Quran. Fi haqtubun qayyama. Once again, I do not agree with the Mufassiri. Their kutub is bimana al-ahkam al-maktubah. Their fi haqtubun qayyama. Al-ahkam al-maktubah. Yes, that's okay. But the perfect meaning is Fi haqtubun qayyama. All the kutub and the books which itself was perfect books, Torah. Injil, Zabur, Sohuf Ibrahim, Sohuf Musa, Sohuf Idris and all the books and scriptures given to different passengers. So the basic message and the basic rules are the basic usul and kawaid are there in the Holy Quran. That's why we don't need those books anymore. Have you got it? They, uh, and then what the Prophet Allah said, look at me. In a hadith, I have been given the realm of the previous people and the realm of the coming people. Now, some brothers or some of them, I don't know why, they explained it that he was Ali Murtab. He knows what happened before and he knows what will happen until they are dead. So then we say, We are the last in them. We are the last. They said in hadith. No, in a concise way, all the realm which was given to all the messengers, I have been given in this holy Quran. That is number one. And number two, all the realm which will be happening until the day of judgment, that would be derived from this holy Quran. It would be derived. So all the realm which was given to previous messengers, in brief and summarized way, I have been given there. In the coming until the day of judgment, all the ulama who will be giving knowledge and ilm and solution to different issues until the day of judgment, derived from this holy Quran, take what I mean, put it in the holy Quran. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَمْ يَكُنِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ آلِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ مُنْفَكِّينَ حَتَّى تَعْتِ يَوْمُ الْبَيِّنَ رَسُولٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ يَدْتُو صُحُفًا مُتَحَّرًا فِيهَا كُتُبٌ قَيِّمًا So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كِتَابٌ This is a great book. Number one. أَنْزَلْ نَاوْ We have sent it down. So again, this is a great hijrah that has not come from a common layman, not from men even. That has come from the creature of the entire world, from Rabbi Kainat, from Barbul Alameen. As you know, official letter is considered respected. 
are respectable. Yes or not? Yes. Common letter? Yes, common letter. But if there is straight service, strength is there, straight service. So even the mailman is taking care of that I would be put to difficulty then if they got lost. You know what I'm saying? And if the letter has come from Governor of Georgia in name of Ajipa, or even from President Indro, Trump. Trump. <laughs> yeah. So again, that is respected in a sense, and of the state has sent it. So now this has been sent by Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah says, Anzal Nahu, this is the second great blessing. And number three, Ilega in community, they are our respected people. Yes, grades are there, degrees are there, darajat are there, darajata. So if a well-known elite of the community in his name there is a letter, so the bad man is taking care of that. That is in the name of the great man. You know what I'm saying? So Allah says, Ilayka to you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You are the Khatam al-Abeen. So this is the Khatam al-Qutub. This is a great book. Number three. And number four, Mubarakun. So all the Mufassirin, they said Mubarakun. This is a blessed book. This is a blessed book. Once again, I don't agree with that meaning. Yes. Mubarakun. You have to bring out a hidden word here. Mubarakun kullu man ta'allaka bihi. Blessed one is everyone who is connecting to this holy book. In one way or the other, its teacher, he is the blessed one. Its student, say, say, he is the blessed one, the believer, he is the blessed one, the serving one, he is the blessed one, the reciter, he is the blessed one, the mujawid, he is the blessed one, the hafiz, he is the blessed one, the qari, that's the blessed one. And you who are supporting Georgia Islamic Institute for Quran, you are the blessed people. That's why I put that word Mubarakun, Kulluman Ta'ala. Anybody who got connected to this holy book, he's the blessed guy. So you are the blessed people. These kids are the blessed people. These Bukhwazi Kiram are the blessed people. All of you, you are the blessed people. Mubarakun. لِيَدَّبَّرُوا آيَاتِ وَلِيَتَذَكَّرُوا الْأَلْبَابِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said لِيَدَّبَّرُوا آيَاتِ So, as a preface to these two words, let me take you back to another two ayat and then I will explain it and inshallah then we will make dua. So look at me. As you know, that in this world, we are talking a lot about human rights are rights or fundamental rights. Our problem is that nobody is talking about duty. Everybody is talking about rights. When people are not talking about duties, only rights, it will make a mess. First, you have to put in their mind what your duty is. You are working or not working? Say, you are working. Yes, yeah. you are working. When you are going to your own company and you work here, that is your duty. If you have not performed your duty, you are eligible for your salary or not? You have right based on your duty. You have right based on your duty. So first you have to think of your duty, later on you should think of your right. We are not thinking of our duty. Everybody is looking for free lunch. Yes. Human rights, the Holy Quran has its own rights as well, which is our duties. So as a Muslim, we have to fulfill our obligation to perform our duties. What are these duties? These are five in number. As far as my study is concerned, these are five in number. Number one, to believe in the holy book that is brought by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that is the duty of human in general. Because human in general is the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why they became his addressees. If they are not considered ummah, so how he can address them? We cannot, we cannot bring them towards Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh brother, we are not his addresses. No, you are. You are Ummah Tuttaw. So Allah says, فَآمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ Look at me. فَآمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ Say it. Huh? After that. وَالنُّورِ الَّذِي أَنزَلْنَا Believe in Allah, believe in His Messenger, and believe in the light which we 
they were sent down to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam belief in holy Quran. So that is the first duty which is duty of human in general to believe in the holy book. Alhamdulillah we believe here in. So you may say Alhamdulillah. Now that is the end of the story. No. Maktabe ishka ke andaz nirale deke. What is that? کہ مکتبِ عشق کے انتاز نرالے دے کے اس کو چھٹی نہ ملی جس نے سبق یاد کیا now you believe you have to proceed further you will go ahead so now what is the next duty next duty is to learn its recitation how to recite and that's why when our kid becomes 4 or 5 years of age we bring him to Hafiz Adurbaba's side yet to start Nazira so first we start with Qaeda Alif then after that, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Recite it, we call it Nazira. We call it what? Nazira. So that is the second ever duty of Muslims to learn how to recite the holy book. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, look at me. Alif, Lam, Mim. Now I have written a book, Al-Khuluf wal Amsal of the Quran. Al-Khuluf. وَالْأَمْسَالُ فِي الْقُرْآنِ So I have added to that Al-Khuruf Al-Muqattaat Khuruf Al-Muqattaat In the 29 surahs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I started the surah with letters like Alif, Lam, Mim, Ha, Mim, Ha, Mim, Ayn, Sin, Qa, Wa, Ha So these are called what? Khuruf Al-Muqattaat The ayat of Holy Quran are three types Number one, we call it Muhkamat where the very meaning and the mafhum and sense are known to those who know the, or who know literary Arabic language. The second type of ayat we call it mutashabihat, where the literal meaning is known to such like people, but the mafhum is not known to them. They have to contact the ulama of Quran and Sunnah. And number three, that is Muqatta'at. So Muqatta'at, its very meaning is known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the meaning of Alif Lam Mim? Known to Allah, the Ashwal Muqatini say, Allah wa'ala wa muradi bi zalika. But as Sahaba were giving it a ta'bi, or a secondary meaning keeping in the subject matters of the surah concerned. So here our Shaykh, Rahmatullahi Alayh, he said, Alif Lam Mim, Alif Lam Mim, he said abbreviation of awwal and lam abbreviation of lazim and mim abbreviation of mu'min alif lam mim al awwadu lazim lil mu'min zalik al kitab the first responsibility of a mu'min is this book to recite it al awwadu lazim lil mu'min zalik al kitab the first ever duty of a muslim is to recite this book and to learn how to recite and he said supported by the ayat of surah ar rahman allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ar rahman allama al quran khalaq al insana allama al bayan the beneficent one allama al quran he taught quran khalaq al insana he created human allama al bayan now here there is no proof to atifa ar rahman allama al quran wa khalaq al insan wa allama al bayan without wa atifa ar rahman allama al quran khalaq al insan allama al bayan even according to abu hanifa rahmatullahi alayhi wa ris fa mutaq al jama that is not for the chief of the man shaf he said in the ayat wudu Ar Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal says in the ayah of Wudu, but anyhow, there is no wow. But why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put the tertib and sequence like this? He did not say, Ar Rahman, Khalaq al Insan, Allah al Bayan, Allah al Quran. That Rahman created the human. He taught him to speak, then he taught them the Quran. But here Allah said, Ar Rahman, Allah al Quran, Rahman taught Quran, Khalaq al Insan, and he created the human. So now, كأن الإنسان خلق لأن يتعلم. كأن القرآن كأن الإنسان خلق لأن يتعلم القرآن. Like a human has been created to learn holy Quran. How to recite it? This is the second thing. The third bit the ayah I said. Let the Quru ayah be to understand the meaning of the holy Quran. And number four, when you get the Zakkara, Allah Taala, the Zakkar is the Tamur of the Takalluf. 
Yes, so as you know that, uh, as I told you, that uh, there is no free lunch. Yes, here the dinner, the dinner is free, but anyhow, this institution, they, it needs your support. You supported this institute co constantly and continuously. That's why today Hafez Sahib told us at night that uh, almost 96 of Fazi Giram, they completed Hafez with Hafez said, That's a great thing. 96 means a lot. 96? means a lot. You want to make it 200 in 2-3 years or not? So, inshallah. So, you want this institution to run properly or not? It needs your support. So, anybody? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yes. Yeah, only, only five minutes. Yes. Huh? Uh, Brother Ramazan, 10,000. Jazakumullah. Takbir. No, not like this. Takbir. No, no, once again. 10,000 is a lot. Yes. Takbir. Yes. Jazakallah for the Ramazan.